Hey, what's up friends? Moses here from Driver Success. I hope you guys are doing well. Glenn suggested that I make a video showing how many hours a week I work. So that's what I'm going to endeavor to do in this video to show you how many hours I'll be working this week. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I work Friday through Monday. So it's a four day weekend schedule. I try to leave home at around 1.30. Right now it's about 1.40, which means I'm a little bit late, but we'll see. Yesterday there was right now it's 2.02. I just made it at work. I'm just gonna start working on my pre-trip and getting my stuff in the truck and then we'll see what happens. Okay, so right now the time is 2.30. I'm leaving the yard. I have three pre-plans on me. I'm gonna do, I think it's a live, a live load. Then I'll do a pickup and then I have a cross town from here to KCS. But right now the time is 2.30. So right now the time is 4.53. I'm leaving my first stop, heading to my second stop. Right now it's 6.04. I'm gonna check out here at the gate and head back to Haslet. This is my second load. So right now it's 8.06. I'm at the yard. I'm taking my 30 minute break. From here, I have a load picking up from the yard right here. And then it's the cross town going to KCS. So right now it's uh, 10.32. I'm at KCS just dropped off the load picked up my load but it has uh, the chassis has a bad tire so I need to do a flip right now I have uh, as you can see just picked up um, a chassis I'm gonna go to the flip line and wait for them to do a flip on it I'm gonna be taking that trailer to Walmart in Sanga but right now the time is 10:32. It's 11 o'clock right now. I'm leaving to go to Sanga. Okay, so for those of you that are new uh, here at JB Hunt or who may come at JB Hunt, one of the things I told you is that uh, we do go off of the activity pay and knowing some of the ways to make money, like uh, knowing the exceptions to use, is very important. So right now I'm picking up this empty, but uh, I don't have a load that I'm gonna do because I think I'm done. So when I'm looking at this empty, if you look up there, right there, it has a hole. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this to the yard and I'm going to put in an exception that I moved a damaged empty so that I can get paid for taking this to the yard. So since I'm not going to pick up a, a load, I don't have to look for a good empty. I don't have to get it. I'm going to take it to the yard, but I'm going to put in an exception and get paid for it. Right now it's 1.15, I'm at the pilot. I need to fill up my tank, get me a cup of tea, and then head back to the yard. So I'm back at the yard right now. It shows I'm off at 2.06. I'm ready to go home. I'm storing everything. So this is the time where I interrupt the video just to talk to those of you who want to come work for JB Hunt. Uh, not all recruiters are the same. Recruiters are different. For those of you that have tried to join JB Hunt, you know that very well because some of you reach out to me after getting some challenges and then I connect you with Susan. So I know I have worked with Susan. She will give you the best advice. She will help you out. So that's why I want to give you guys her phone number so this is the phone number 
call her and let her know that Moses from YouTube or you can say Moses from Driver Success uh, asked me to call you so that you can help me get me to JB Hunt. She'll help you out. Or you can send me an email, moses at driversuccess.com. I will give her your information. Just make sure you send me your, your phone number and zip code. I'll give her your information and she will call you almost right away so that she can see what's available in your area. Right now, let's get back to the video and talk about the hours I work a week. It's another day. Today is Saturday. I'm a little early than I usually get here. Right now, the time is 1.48. I'm just arriving at work. All right, so I'm all set and ready to leave the yard. As you can tell, it's 2.12 right now. I currently have two loads on me. I'm doing a delivery to Lancaster. And then I have to go to Dallas to do a pickup. I'm not sure if that will be a live or if it will be a drop and hook. Most likely it may be a live load. But we are waiting on the trains to come in, probably because of the storm that passed, you know, like down in the south. Uh, the trains have been slow, so we are kind of slow. But hopefully by the time I'm done with that second load, I have something else on me. So 2.12, let's go. This is what I don't understand about Texas. A few hours ago, maybe not even a few hours ago, we were in three digits. The sun was like, it was hot. We were like uh, drenching in sweat. Now it's pouring. It's like water. I don't, you guys can't even see what I'm talking about, but it's like, it's not raining, it's pouring. Oh my God. So right now the time is 7.08. I just brought back this load from Dallas. Uh, this was a live load. I'm gonna drop it. We don't have anything as I told you guys. Looks like it's slow. Nothing is coming out of the rail. So I'm just gonna go to the yard. Probably take my 30 minute break. Even though I'm still okay. I don't really need to take a break because I'm still okay with time. But since I'm not, uh, we are not busy. There's no reason why I should be in a hurry and it's raining. So I'm gonna take some break and see if it can kind of slow down in the rain. Uh, but I need to get an empty from the yard and then head to my third stop, which is a pickup just out of, uh, I forget the place, but it's a close by place. That's why I always walk with my raincoat and my pants. These two things help me up a lot when it comes to the rain. The only thing I don't have is there's no way I'm, I'm walking with shoes for the rain. So right now, because it was uh, hot weather, I'm in sneakers. So those are going to get wet because it's really like, even when you look down, it's like water is just flowing. Right now it's 8.29. Got here to pick up my Lord and according to security, he doesn't have the paperwork and shipping that shipping office closes at eight o'clock so oh there's no paperwork to to the load in other words this is a missed load i have another load i'm thinking they're gonna tell me to go pick up that other load uh it's in fort worth i kind of suspected because uh, i come here on saturdays if i don't have a trailer number they usually tell me they don't have the paperwork. So I suspected uh, this was gonna be a tonu. So right now it's 12.41. I've just delivered load number four here in Roanoke. I'm heading back to the yard right now. All right, I'm done with day number two. As you can see, 1.09 a.m. I'm ready to go home. I'll see you tomorrow. Day number three, right now it's 1.51 and I'm just arriving at work. I saw on the drive up uh, when I was at home that they've been having challenges with uh, people net, but it's been fixed. So hopefully I don't get any problems with it. So right now it's 2.15. I have two loads on me. I have a, a delivery I have to make and then a pickup that comes back here. I'm not sure if the delivery is live or if it's a drop and hook but most likely it's a live because 
uh, I don't think we drop at that particular customer so we'll see but right now I have two loads and I forgot to ask about the trains I'm not sure if the trains came in so I'm not sure if we are busy or not so right now the time is 7 31 I'm just leaving this place I got here at 3 o'clock uh, they didn't have a door then at about 4 30 they called me into a door they are done with me now I am gonna head to my second pickup I'm not sure if that is gonna be a live or if it's a drop and hook but it's out in Fort Worth uh, when I'm done with that I'll take it to the rail and then I'll see if they have something else for me Right, right now as I speak it's 9 42 they changed my load so I didn't go to Fort Worth for the other load I had told you guys um, I'm right now in Dallas uh, picking up a load out of um, what's this place called Amazon and I'm taking it to Wiley so right now it's 9 42 and I think I have another load which is gonna be a pickup that means when I drop this in Wiley, I may have to look for an empty. It's going to be tricky. And yet I have to get back at the yard uh, fast enough for my slip seat to use the truck. So we'll see. Right now it's 12.23. I'm in Iving picking up my last load. And then I head to the rail. It is 1.33 and I'm back. So I'm getting off. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Undercover agents of the other beyond graph. I totally forgot to tell you uh, what time I got here. But if I remember right, I got at the yard at about 2.13 to 14. So let's just say I got here about uh, 2.14. And then right now it's uh, 2.36. I just got one load pre-planned on me. It's uh, going to Coppell, Samsung in Coppell. I think I've been to that place probably like once, maybe like two years ago. Uh, we'll see if that's the place I'm thinking about, but it's uh, in Coppell, Samsung in Coppell. Right now the time is 2.37. Just got my paperwork. I'm getting ready to leave the yard. Did I tell you guys I only have one load on me? Well. It may not even be here in the rail so let me go and see what's happening hopefully things will work out okay. so right now i'm just gonna go find out if it's here or if somebody took it out you may it may be even at the yard by the way so but according to my paperwork it says it's here that time is 7.53. I just dropped off my load at the rail. Picked up another load that is going to Coppell. But I'm stuck here waiting for this train. Um, I'm just going to go to the pilot, take my 30 minute break before I go to make this delivery. I don't have any pre-plan so far. But I'm sure they'll find me something. So hopefully when I'm done with this, I'll have another load on me. All right, so I'm done with my day. As you can see, the time right there is 12.48. I'm just satisfi certifying my log and I'll be out of here. And in Castles out of sand, reaching for the ground.